guys, so I'm going to be doing another baby update today because people have been requesting them and I've been getting just tons of requests for just like baby type videos. So that's what I'm going to do. A lot of my subscribers are pregnant right now, which is funny. Like, I keep getting so many people saying, I'm pregnant right now, I'm pregnant right now. And then I have people saying that like, I do like the same day as you or this day after you or whatever. So I just think that's really cool because... I don't know, it's just fun to like share stories and stuff. So um, I wanted to show you guys my makeup today. I really am liking it. I did gold on the lid and then um, like a purple in the crease. And I decided to do fake eyelashes today. Like, I don't know why, I just randomly decided to do that. I never wear fake eyelashes when I don't do tutorials. Like I only wear when I do tutorials or if I'm like going out at night. I never wear them during the day. But I just feel like doing it today. And then I put like a really pretty greenish blue underneath. You probably can't really tell, but I really like it today, so I might do a tutorial on it. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I wanted to do a quick update for you guys. Um, okay, if you're pregnant too, please let me know if you get out of breath as easy as me. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's because I'm making videos too, but like for some reason, like when I make videos, not like normal time, like when I'm talking to people regularly, I don't get out of breath, but it's only like when I'm making videos where I just get so out of breath. It's crazy. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know if it's just because I'm pregnant or what. It's just weird, but um, anyways, so right now in my pregnancy, I'm 20 weeks, and I'm not really at a point in my pregnancy where anything, like, big is happening. Like, it's a very just, like, time where it's just, like, nothing is really happening. Um, so that's kind of why I've been kind of putting off making a video because nothing's really happening. Like, I don't have questions from my doctor or anything because it's just kind of, like, she's just there you know um, but if you guys don't know if you guys didn't see my last video which you guys should definitely go watch because it's a really fun one um, I am having a girl and I'm really happy oh my gosh I'm so happy um, deep down I think I just really really wanted a girl and I didn't really realize that until I found out it was a girl <laughs> um, but if you guys know I like thought for sure it was gonna be a boy like I was like dead set on boy like I thought for sure, like intuition, everything, boy, 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 boy. And so did my husband, he thought it was gonna be a boy as well. And I think the reason why I thought it was gonna be a boy, which I didn't realize until after I found out, was because I kind of wanted a girl. And either way, I wouldn't, like, I would have been disappointed if it was a boy, like, either way, I didn't really care, but like, I think I really wanted a boy, or I mean a girl. And so I think I was kind of preparing myself for a boy. Even though I wouldn't have cared if it was a boy, I was just kind of like preparing myself for a boy because I think I really wanted a girl. I don't know, but yeah. So when you watch that video, you will tell in my face, like I was surprised. I was like, it's a girl? Like what? Like I was so surprised. But now I'm really happy. Like I am so happy and um, it just makes it so much different. Like when you know what it is because it's like, it's like this different connection, you know. Um, but yeah, so her name is going to be Elena Charlotte, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I just have always liked the name Elena. I just think it's really, really pretty. I kind of liked Elena with an E, but we decided to change the E to an A just because we both kind of like A names. I just think A names are really elegant and pretty. So we changed it to Elena and then Charlotte because Charlotte is my grandma's first name. And I just always thought that was a really elegant name as well. And I just love my grandma, so I wanted to name my daughter after her. Um, and so, yeah, we're just really, really excited. So, um, oh yeah, by the way, so if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I was like super stressed out because I thought for sure, you know, my baby was a boy, then I found out it was a girl, and then at the appointment, we didn't get to talk to our ultrasound technician at all about what it was. Like, can you please show us on the screen that it's a girl? Can you show us how you know, how sure you are? We didn't get to ask him any of those questions because we had him put it in an envelope. And like I said, if you haven't seen that last video, go check it out and you'll see kind of how I did it. But we had him put it in an envelope, so we couldn't talk to him about like showing us on the screen like it was a girl, right? So my aunt was like, I announced it on Facebook and she's like, just so you know, don't be 100% certain that it's a girl because my whole pregnancy, I thought my son was a girl, but he popped out a boy. The whole pregnancy, they thought it was a girl until he was born a boy. And then I started stressing out, like overanalyzing and stressing out. And I have a really bad tendency to do that. Like I am one of those really over analytical people sometimes where I cannot get something out of my head until I freaking find out or figure it out. So I was so scared that Elena was a boy still and they like didn't see it right. And like, it's not that like I didn't trust my doctor or the ultrasound technician. It was more the fact that I didn't get a talk to him at the appointment. And I was like, 
I don't know how sure he was. Like, I did not get to see her little girl part right there on the screen to know, like, how sure he was, you know? And even in some of the ultrasound pictures, her legs were like this, like, up and crossed. And, um, I was like, you know, were they like that the whole time? Um, was his little pee-pee, like, tucked up in there where you can't see it? You know what I mean? Like, I started thinking of all these different things that could have happened to where he wouldn't know that it was girl. So I just had to call the ultrasound place and I had to make sure and just like double check and just talk to my ultrasound technician and be like how sure were you and all my friends my family Travis was like don't call it's a girl like he wouldn't have written down girl if it wasn't a girl if he wasn't sure it was a girl but like I couldn't relax and I didn't want to not enjoy my pregnancy because I was worried that it was going to be a boy still so I was like I need to do this for myself I need to call because it's going to like just make me feel better so I called and he's like, well, if I wrote down girl, then I was probably 99% sure it was a girl, if that's what I wrote down. He's like, but you can come in and we can do a quick ultrasound to, so I can actually show you that it was a girl. And he was the sweetest guy ever. Like he didn't even, like they didn't charge me or anything. It was kind of like underground. Like he's like, just call my cell phone. I'll get you in right before lunch. I'll show you like in three minutes what I'm talking about and then you can leave. So he was just really, really nice for doing that for me and just like totally calmed my nerves and I'm happy and now I can buy her things without thinking constantly like what if it's a boy, what if it's a boy, you know. So um, that was a really long story but I just had to tell you because it was like one of those things where it was like I had to find out for myself. Like I had to calm myself down and know for me that it was a girl for sure. So if you do end up doing what I did, the cake thing where you put it in an envelope or whatever, make sure you ask your ultrasound tech at the thing how sure are you? Like, is her legs open? Like, can you see it really well? Like, how sure are you that it's what it is? You know what I mean? Like, make sure you kind of ask them that, because I didn't ask them that at all, and I left the building not knowing, you know, anything about it. So, just a little tip there. Um, so, what else? She's kicking a lot more now. She is, like, I probably started feeling her kicking about 17 weeks, I would say, and it was just, like, little tiny twitches. Like, it felt like, um, you had a twitch in your stomach. Like, you know how your eye twitches and stuff? That's how it felt in my stomach. And I was like, I don't know if that's her. Like, it's a twitch. And it's like, maybe it's gas? Like, it totally did not feel like baby kicking. So I was like, I don't know, Mom. It's not really, like, I don't know. She's like, it's probably her, Kara. It's, you know. So then it started happening, like, more and more, like, consistently and frequently. So now I know for sure it's her because she is a lot stronger now but it's like these tiny little like twitches and it's crazy it's like the craziest feeling ever it's like you can't explain it to somebody how it feels to have your baby kicking it's just crazy crazy feeling and I just can't wait until it gets like even more like prominent you know like hiccups and like I don't know it's just the craziest feeling in the world and it's really really cool okay so I'm gonna do a little haul like my baby clothes haul because I have a few baby clothes and I just want to show you and I know what some people will like this some people won't if you don't then it's fine whatever but I have actually had people request this so I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I've gotten for her we don't have a ton of stuff for her yet obviously but I just can't help it sometimes I just have to like buy her things so um my cowlick is going crazy right here um so anyways I'm gonna show you a few things so some of the stuff is from my like friends or family or coders or whatever but um I got these little onesies from my husband's co-worker and his husband's co-worker has three girls so we didn't know what it was when he got us these but they're little onesies I got a yellow one and like a little striped green one which is super cute and a little white polka dot one with green polka dots and a green one with a ducky on it and then a white one with like green thread, which is really cute. And these are like 9 to 12 months, so she can wear these when she's older. And then I got this one. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to love this one. I got this one at Fred Meyer, which is like a local drugstore type of thing. And I died when I saw this. I was like, babe, I have to buy this for her. So it looks like this. How freaking adorable is this? This is newborn. I kind of wish I would have gotten it in like a three month or something so she could have wore it longer. But I'm a new mom. I don't know these things, but whatever. But anyways, it looks like this. It's green and it has like a cute little like zebra little skirt. And it's just really, really cute. I love it. Looks like a little cheerleader uniform or something. And then my coworker got me this one, which is like the cutest thing in the whole entire world. Like I wish she could wear this forever. 
but it looks like this, has lips on it, and then check this out. It has a little tutu. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? It's like can-can tutu. It's like layered up. It's the cutest freaking thing. She also got this, I think, in a newborn as well, so she probably, it's zero to three months, so she won't be able to wear this for too long, but I'll probably get some pictures of her in this, like maybe like professional photos or something like that. I don't know. I just think it's really cute. She got her this little headband to go with it, so that's one of the cutest things I have for her right now. My mom got her this one. It has like little flowers on it, and then she got her this cardigan to go over the top, which is really cute, and... I don't know, I just really like this one. I like baby clothes that are like bright colored and like really like bold. Like I don't like duckies and bears and like all those cheesy things. Like I like them to be like cute, like little girl clothes but for babies, you know? So there's that one. Then my mom got her this one. I love my daddy, which is so cute. Oh, I just love it. And it has little bloomers or whatever. I just think it's so freaking cute. Like, how cute! I just love baby clothes. Seriously, I love baby clothes. And I got this one at Ross, because me and my, one of my friends who has a baby went, and we both kind of got a couple things. Well, actually, I only got one thing, but um, it looks like this. See how bright it is? I just love the bright colors. Um, this is also... This is newborn also. And then she has these little leggings right here. How cute is that? Like, seriously, so cute. It has two little buttons in the back. So that's that outfit. And then my mom got her this one as well. It's blue and it has these two little flowers on it. Just a little like dress and it has like the little um, onesie underneath. So I just freaking, I needed a girl to do like baby clothes shopping for sure. Like baby girl clothes are so much cuter than baby boy clothes. Like there's just so much more variety. So um, yeah, that's going to be my biggest thing I think is buying her too many clothes. So I just need to like, yeah. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much my whole update. I don't really have much else to say. If you guys have any tips or anything like that, like if you're a mom and you had a daughter or if you're just a, like have any tips for me as far as babies or what to look for in stores, um, things like that, please let me know because I'm totally open for like things because I've never been a mom before, so um, any tips or anything like that would be awesome. So um, I guess that's it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!